All right. Let's see what we got here. Free wood, folks. Let's see what it is first. That's not a hardwood, whatever that is. Eh, it'll be good for starting fires. Let me check with the owner. Hey, what's going on? I got a little package for, I have my own herb garden, so if you'd like to oh. come to your Oh yeah, she'd like that. some rosemary, I have some fennel in there, um, what else, sage, pineapple sage, so Ooh, good I'm stuff. in there, I'm in there replanting and I, I'm like, I gotta cut some stuff off, it's getting crazy. <laughs> Do you know when this was cut down? This was cut down less than a month ago. Okay. Um, it's the same tree as that, but this one was yeah, that's a hundred years old. That's a, um, I can't think Catalupa? of the Yes, Cal yeah. yes. I was like, I never could think of the name of it, but if someone, someone, someone says it, this one. Yeah, and they always been. sprout out from the, you'll have another yeah. tree growing here in a little bit. That's why I told Mike, I said, I think there's a new one. He's like, no, it's just a weed. I'm like, that's another no, tree. No, that's, that's another tree. We got black ants in it real bad. You could see what they did. It was just, oh it was, yeah. It was hollowed out. And These aren't native for West Virginia no. either. His, his, uh, I'm going to say it. I'm going to live here. And then we live here. And then they also own the house. We okay. own pretty much. Like well, yeah, I, I, I was uh, looking at the pictures online, truck. so when I pulled up, I knew what house to be at, and <laughs> I pulled in one past there who had um, a whole bunch of wood stacked up. I'm like, that can't be right. No. <laughs> and well, I, I came, I missed this street, yeah. and I went down, turned around, and I saw the tree trimmers had come through, mm -hmm. like for the power line. I'm like, that's that, who it was. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, okay. Because they left us a note saying, hey, we're going to trim. Let us know like if that's okay and you know and then i told mike i said this tree because it was getting real sketchy oh uh, yeah because we were like that thing's gonna fall it's gonna take out the whole neighborhood this yeah really huge, it was three times bigger than this tree it's huge well you can see the stump over there yeah it's, I mean, it's, it's crazy it's ginormous and i was like we're gonna we're gonna lose it so we're like hey can you sit yeah but they were out here for a day and a half cutting this thing down oh i bet oh my gosh i mean they, they probably had to lop, lop it and then take yep. the big chunks because yep. you can't just knock something like this down it, it, came out into three separate trees oh, there was a one base and then you could see where it was like well three. what happens is in the crook of those uh, like in here if you have a third one yep. it catches water perfectly mm -hmm. and it just rots the, yep. the soft wood yep. that stuff soaks right in there oh, yeah. and you're done i was thinking about taking one of the pieces if there were because i was like well if there's any left one that's all the way through maybe do like a resin coffee table and like fill up with resin like if where there's a hole oh right right, right. i got you fill it some of the way but like like do like this much of like resin or something. I'd be like, I was like, that'd be kind of cool. But then I'm like, I've already got like a hundred projects. Uh, <laughs> did that, but then all of a sudden this thing was invested and it was just like. Yeah, that's huge. not, that's yeah. not good. Look at that. Yeah. The whole center of that tree is just gone. Mm -hmm. Yep. Holy. Well, look how big this thing was. Yep. That's why I couldn't really tell how old it was because it was so ate up, but. They, they're lucky. I mean, this, this is dangerous. When you cut into this you're, yeah. and you're thinking that's solid. And it's going to hold the rest of the tree up yeah. you cut into that and it's just sometimes they just collapse that's why i was glad that we had professionals that's what they yeah. did they went up and down each street doing this and i'm yeah. like you know what because we were afraid because all these winds Man, look at that they they were they were far up the tree yeah you're getting pieces when I mean, you start out like this and you're getting pieces like that they were up in that they tree made me, they made me so nervous oh I i'm sure to call a fork and just watch them because i was like oh <laughs> Uh, oh, I would never, I would never forget myself. Well, my boyfriend, he's been coming over trimming. He got a new trimmer. So he, he trimmed up all of our trees here because our neighbors wanted them trimmed. He started trimming this up, and it's like, he's like, I was like, why don't you come up here and cut up some of this wood? He goes, well, if I'm coming up, I'm gonna start selling it. I'm not gonna just give it away. And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, thank you. All right, hey. Went to the first house there. This video. Right, Getting directions is about, I just thought I'd make a little video about 
folks who don't live where I live and are trying to get firewood, excuse me while I watch the traffic here, and um, ways to get firewood. So all I was doing this morning was, I got up early before work and I went online and I just typed in free firewood. Just curious. And I had a several places that had free firewood sitting out. Now the first place, we'll call her Miss Jess, I didn't know what kind of wood it was. Um, it was already picked through, which is fine with me. That's perfect. Get it out of her yard. But there um, wasn't much left for me to grab. And it was a softer wood, which I'm not really looking for. I told her that, which is fine. I took so, uh, four pieces from her yard that I can use to start fires for kindling, things like that. So that's perfect. But if you were wanting to do it for campfire, things like that, it would be perfect for it. So anyways, we're going to go to our next stop. We're just a few miles away on our way home, actually, and uh, see what he's got. So I will pick up then. But again, this is just a video to show you that there's plenty of firewood out there that you don't need to have 50 acres like I do and then some to be able to cut your firewood. So if you have a fireplace or a wood stove and you want to have a fire in it and you think you can't go out and get wood, trust me, it's out there, okay? All right, let me focus on driving here and I'll get back to you. Now I'm driving, let's talk about what kind of wood that was. Um, I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but I know it's a northern catalop, 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 something like that kind of tree. It's nothing I have really seen around here before, and that's because it's not native. Um, and it was in a front yard, cut down. So, again, looking around at trees, I couldn't figure out what it was when I was looking at it on Facebook. She had a picture of it in the front yard, and I couldn't tell what it was. That's a nice truck, though. But anyways, um, so I lost my train of thought. Isn't that fun? You're not really sure what you're going to get unless the person knows exactly what they have. Um, sometimes they've cut it up and split it themselves, and they, they know what they have, and they'll charge you for it. But a lot of times, it's just free. Um, if you know of a wood mill, a sawmill, a log mill somewhere around your property, a lot of times they will sell slab wood. I turn it right here. No, up here. They'll sell slab wood, which is when they cut off the outside edge of the tree. And a lot of times that's good for wood stoves and things like that. It's got a lot of bark on it, but if you can knock that bark off, sometimes you get pieces that are you know eight, nine, well, not eight, nine, but you know four or five inches thick, and they're really good pieces to burn. So you just never know what you'll find. Sometimes they'll tell you, oh, it's oak, and you show up and it's not oak. But as long as it's a hardwood, that's why I carry a hammer with me. And I and I hit the side of the wood to see how hard it is. Yeah, you can tell that way. But anyways, got this trailer back there. It's not loaded down very heavy. All right, half a mile to Rector Road. I'm not going to show you exactly where this guy lives, so I'm going to turn this off. I don't want to put him out there like that. I'll turn it back on when I get there. Okay, I don't know what we got here, but I might try to back my trailer in. Then I look at that wood and get a few pieces of it. It looks decent. And he said this whole bottom area and this whole top area was full of wood that he had to, for, to pick up. I just got to the game late, so not a big deal. We'll pull down here. Again, this video, nice couple. Um, I'm gonna pull down here and see if I can back this trailer in. I'm not sure what kind of this is. This is some kind of cherry wood or what this is. Looks pretty decent. I'm not sure how much we'll grab, but. That didn't do much, did it? But it fell off. Oh God, they're huge. I'm not sure I can handle this. I'm gonna pick a rune. Yeah, they're almost too big. Might pop a chainsaw out and cut those up. There are some big pieces of wood.
other day. Okay, so like I was saying, he had this whole area full of wood. I'm not sure what this is. If I had to guess, I would say a cherry tree of some sort. I mean, it's, the wood's definitely red. You can see my shavings down there. I'm not a tree expert. I mean, I know a few trees, but I'll have to say this is kind of cherry. Without my pickaroon, they're just too heavy to get up out of here. Everybody left the big pieces for me, which is generally fine if I have my pickaroon and stuff like that. But this is this is heavy. Let's we'll see if I can get it up out of here. If not, we'll just leave it because I, like I said, I don't need this wood. But this is just showing you that you can definitely get firewood without Jesus. <laughs> it's a young man's game. I mean, let's look at this just to show you. What I'm talking about. I mean, you've got basically you've got two layers of sticks here. So you cut it this way. It's almost one. I mean, you could cut it, you split it here. Two, three, four, five, six pieces right there, and it's more than 16 inches long. So I'd probably cut it in half again. So you're talking 12 pieces. It's 24 pieces in one at one hole piece using those they drive me crazy that might be it that might be all we take and i'm not too i'm not sad about it uh, I don't, like i said i don't need it i'm just trying to show you guys that you can definitely get firewood but this has been picked through he was he said i think i said it before he said his whole yard down here was full of tree limbs and stacked up so if I needed the wood and I was checking it daily, I would have saw that and run down here and grabbed that wood. But so I brought my truck and trailer into town really for that. <laughs> but like I said before, I don't need it. I was just basically showing you what was out there. And right now it's just, let's get out of here. Oh. Let's get my chainsaw first. Wood. I was just showing you what's available. I've heard people say, oh, I, I can't have wood stove. I live in town. I don't have the acreage. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Okay, folks. That's the video. It's not much, but you can definitely find firewood. If I, I was just something I thought of today. I thought, oh, I'll go out and drive around a little bit while my wife is in town. See if I can find some places to have firewood. Like I said, he had a bunch of firewood. 
but I got here a little too late. Like he said a week ago, he had a bunch, so you can definitely find it. You can find plenty if you look. So, anyways, not much of a video, but I thought, you know, I just to tootle around and show you guys what I've done in the past. I don't have to do it anymore, but I've done, done it before when I needed wood. So, anyways, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If I make this into a video, I'll be surprised. Because <laughs> it really didn't turn out the way I hoped it would, but maybe we'll do it some other day. And I'll put it all together then. All right, I'm out of here. I got to pay attention to what I'm doing before I kill somebody or myself. See you, folks.